hello and what's up guys it's sims 4 ideas welcome back to my channel i hope you had a fantastic day so far um today i'm building something different it's gonna be a community lot i decided to go for a um, museum lot type i wasn't sure uh, in the beginning because um yeah it's a sightseeing spot and there is not such a lot type you could have chosen the generic lot type but it, but i don't know i feel like it doesn't work so well in game so i decided for for the museum lot type because because it kind of fits the vibe so <laughs> yeah here we are building the colosseum um, a famous uh, sightseeing spot in rome with a lot of history and a lot of um yeah <laughs> in my opinion it's a beautiful architectural style and um, it's for a challenge and um, the challenge was to build one of the world wonders it's um, the Colosseum is one of the newer ones so um, I decided for this one because it's in Europe I live in Europe so it's uh, not that far and it's pretty yeah, I don't know how to how to say it, but it's pretty um, yeah easy to make in The Sims because you have the respective objects to mimic it, and so I thought it, it would be a nice try to expand uh, my skills in tool mod <laughs> because in this challenge I was allowed to use the tool mod. I really missed it because in um, some small things the tool mod uh, from T Twisted Maxi, I will link it down below, is really really helpful because some, if you have for example platforms or um, porches, you c can't place bushes and flowers because they try to, they tend to, um, yeah, skip higher and don't lay on the ground, it's uh, painful. Uh, so the tool mod is uh, really 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 nice. It's Tool means takes objects off lot. <laughs> Just a little side note. And uh, yeah, I used it a lot. It uh, really helped to um, just copy the, the, the circle and uh, yeah, do it on top. I'm uh, really proud how this one turned out. I also thought about how to do the environment. I saw some pictures on um, Google. Um, yeah, how the surrounding of the Colosseum looks like and I decided to go for a kind of park uh, yeah, around this. I built this Colosseum in Brightchester so there is al already this kind of city style um, but more in a, I don't know how to call it, but more in a suburban way, not like a modern city just like the roads um, around a lot is uh, pretty helpful so I um, decided you will see it in a speed build um, to put some uh, yeah coffee tables, some um, also a small um, yeah artist corner where you can uh, get painted, for example. And um, I don't know what I put else. I put a small porch and um, a toilet and some bike stands and uh, yeah I. Yeah, I, I just don't want it to overload a lot and like it's so busy when you look at it uh, because the yeah the Colosseum should have stand out and should have been the yeah the key point of the lot. So I think I managed uh, to <laughs> to achieve this. Um, it was uh, really difficult sometimes to to. Um, when building the Colosseum to find the right objects. Before I started the speed build, I searched like 20 minutes through the whole Diva catalog to find the right object because some of the objects would fit, bit with, would fit better because they have this archway, but um, they are in gray tones and the Colosseum is like a brownish tone. So um, I was really happy when I saw this um, debug uh, no, this is a live edit object uh, from uh, Journey to Batu. Um, it was really helpful for this one. <laughs> I 
I know Batu is a very controversial uh, theme and topic, but uh, I recently only bought it. It was one of my last uh, packs that I missed because I never really wanted to buy it. But some of the builders uh, yeah, convinced me and it is really good, I need to admit. Uh, it's sad that there is no really playable world in this, but the objects and the build by and the um, yeah, debug and life edit objects are perfect for building because there are so many different kind of things that are not in different packs and that was uh, really really helpful in my opinion and uh, I think also the normal things in um, build catalog are pretty fun like some of the um, benches or some of the flowers it's I really like it to be honest and um, yeah I would uh, also suggest it to get it if you're a builder if you're not then I probably <laughs> probably not suggest it but uh, in building purposes it's uh, really helpful so um, yeah I'm pretty happy that I bought it I bought it together with uh, Realm of Magic and uh, my wedding stories yeah my wedding stories because I really wanted to build in Tartosa I haven't built yet but uh, I'm really about to build um, I um, started a poll on uh, Twitter where uh, where I asked um, which type of home should I build next and uh, in which world and which size and and so on and uh, Tartosa won so I'm gonna build a, I think tiny home with 64 um, tiles and um, yeah I'm really excited for that and I'm looking forward because the world is so beautiful I love the, the little bridges and uh, and the waterfall it, it's just so pretty I love the colors especially when you have g-shade and a nice preset it looks it looks amazing <laughs> I just love it I overall love the worlds in the sims 4 like Solani is beautiful and I'm not a fan of the look of Newcrest and the other base game world. It's just so common. I really like the other worlds, like it's something special about them. I really like, uh, for example, Brindleton Bay or Windenburg. Especially Windenburg has so many lots. It's like <laughs> the, the one expansion pack with, with so many lots. I mean, Get to Work has four lots in Magnolia Prominent. <laughs> That's just such a sad expansion pack, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, get to work has nice stuff and I really like that you have a hospital and a police station and, and other things and retail stores. But the world is just so sad. <laughs> these four little retail shops or I don't know what, what these thingies are. I, I never... I only built once in Magnolia Permanent and it was a police station. Their speed build is also on this channel. Um, but for the pictures I needed to place it in uh, Newcrest because the pictures were so ugly. The lightning in this world is so ugly. <laughs> I probably won't build there again. <laughs> I mean I can try it but uh, my first uh, experience wasn't that good. So I'm um, still thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to say else. Uh, I'm gonna uh, have a small slideshow in the end where I uh, show some gameplay footages and some pictures of the build. Um, I'll add them a little bit because uh, the lightning on the slot was sometimes a little bit off. But uh, I think it turned out pretty decent. I'm pretty happy with that. It's the first kind of um, yeah, sightseeing spot or famous building that I did in a Sims 4. I recently saw that one uh, Sims build that did the Eiffel Tower. It looked amazing. I was just mind blown. I don't know which one it was. I think it was Plumbo Kingdom. I'm not quite sure yet. I need to check it. And then I, I'll link it down below. It was really good. I also googled if someone already did the Colosseum. Um, Architect, I don't know if you know it, um, he's also a uh, Sims 4 builder and has also a YouTube channel. I'm gonna link it also down below. And uh, he's a friend and uh, I saw that he uh, built one. So I uh, 
for sure wat watched the spiel build and uh, saw how he did some things. I think I chose another way um, in comparison, but his one looks also really good, like even better <laughs> than mine. Um, I think it, uh, he used also different uh, things for the art race than I, and uh, this is this is so cool about the sims because everyone has such a different build style and different objects they like to use different types of buildings they like to do and yeah i just love the sims 4 for that for for the diversity for that that you can do what you what you imagine you can let your creativity run free it's it's just i just love this game for this and uh yeah, I wouldn't change it for another game. I know there is glitches and there are bugs and there are some things that are not so perfect about this game, but I, I just love this game. I grew up with The Sims and I can't imagine, I can't imagine, yeah, without playing The Sims. It's just, I love it. I love this game. I love building in it. It's had, it has such a calming aspect for me. It's, yeah, I just, yeah, that's that's probably the reason why I started the YouTube channel, to share my creations, and it's always something that I wanted to do. I, uh, yeah, had this plan for quite a few time, but uh, this year when some things changed and my studies um, ended, I had the time to really, yeah, build up a channel and do speed builds and so on, and yeah, now I'm playing nearly on a daily basis, so win-win <laughs> situation. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna end this voiceover at this point. Um, I don't want to <laughs> ramble so much to you. And uh, I hope you enjoy the rest of the speed build. I hope um, you liked it. Um, let me know in the comments if there is another. Um, let me know in the comments uh, what's your favorite sightseeing spot in your region. Um, I would really, uh, I would be really pleased to hear that. For for my personal experience, I really would love to see the Eiffel Tower. It's not that far away for me, and uh, that would be my dream, yeah, sightseeing spot that I would like to visit. So let me know in the comments what will, what would your uh, sightseeing spot of your dreams would be and uh, yeah I hope you enjoy it uh, please like comment and subscribe let me know what you think about the voiceover about the build and I wish you a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you soon bye everybody